Your mother, you fucking faggot. Welcome back to Al TV. I'm very proud to say that today we'll be speaking with a man who has been a major force, a man who has virtually redefined the genre and brought a new urgency and intensity and dynamic flow. I've, I've been looking forward to this for a long time and it's an extreme honor <laughs> for me to interview the very talented Sorry, man, I, I can't do this with a straight face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Al TV. Uh, I, I know you've been getting this question from everybody, but I have to ask you anyway. What exactly did you think of my new album, Straight Outta Linwood? Number one. And you think it's great? And anybody who says otherwise is fucking delusional and deranged and crazy and in denial. Because I got the proof. Cool. Okay, well, just wanted to get that out of the way. So you, you really liked it, huh? There's only one champion. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're a fan. I guess I'll have to go kind of easy on you for this interview, huh? You know what I'm saying? So, when did you first realize you had absolutely no talent? For a long time. Yeah, I got over years. It, you know, yeah, I want to talk about beating my enemies. Well, I had a lot of... Yeah, okay, whatever. So, um, I understand you recently got a new tattoo. Would you mind uh, showing it to us? Oh, very nice. You know what I'm that tattoo works on a number of levels because it could stand for both failure and effing delusional. Excellent choice. Come on. I'm, I'm a fucking hero. So... You know, Charlie Zelenoff is the best, man. Charlie Zelenoff is the GOAT, man. Charlie Zelenoff is the ambassador of boxing. Oh, really? You mean like this review? I would rather jam an ice pick repeatedly into both of my ears than endure listening to the steaming pile of horse feces again. I don't care what you say. I don't care what TMZ says. It's on video. Can you tell us a little bit about the video? Oh, it could. I broke his jaw brutally. I knocked him out. That was... I mean... See, that, that kid was not even a fighter. He made up some shit that he was never made. And he's not even a fighter. But see, I had to knock him out because he talked so much shit that I had to knock him out. And then his brother, Chris, tried to get revenge from him. And then I beat the shit out of Chris Good on video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. Ah, oh, you crack me up. Wow. Well, that's a fascinating, yeah. unique concept. I hope you get video of the year for that. Yeah, I've got all my enemies. There's still a few left out there, but they're definitely hiding because they've seen how many wins I have on YouTube. Motherfuckers don't. So that's a compliment to you? Yes, man. You know, Charlie's on off is the best, man. <laughs> that's funny. Man, Charlie's on off is the goat, man. Charlie's on off is the ambassador of boxing. Oh. Yes. Then you're a complete moron. So, I guess the big question that nobody really feels like asking you is, what are your plans for the future? Beating my enemies. Well, I had a lot of enemies. I don't even know where to start, but uh, I finished them all. Great. Well, looks like everything's working out for you then. So, how does it feel to have a closet full of wife beaters, but no wife? Too soon? Okay, I'll, I'll work up to that one. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting over. I'm over my, my ex-wife. I'm not saying, you know, I, don't even, I don't even think about her anymore. Like, I hardly even think about her. Yeah, because when I do think about her, all I remember is drama. <laughs> negative shit. I assume in the meantime, you'll be, what, sitting around in your underwear, playing a lot of video games? Nah. Eating potato chips off your chest, right? Yeah. I'm guessing you'll be peeing in a jar so you won't have to get up and go to the bathroom. That's the way it is. Uh-huh. Marriage, divorce, and all that shit. Have you given any thought to who you're going to impregnate and leech off of now? I, I listen, I found a new girl. And uh, I'll be dating her. But uh, yeah, the bottom line is this next victory.
that I'm, that I'm score in Las Vegas. It's going to be legend. Yeah, okay, whatever. So now that your marriage and your career have fallen apart, I guess you'll have a lot of free time on your hands. No. Um, are you concerned about the fact that you're headed straight towards oblivion? Well, I mean, a lot of people, like, motherfuckers on the street like this. I knocked out an Aryan Brotherhood Nazi. You know, he was talking shit. I mean, they, I didn't know him. That was the first time I seen him. Yeah, well, he became my enemy right there. I knocked him out cold. Uh -huh. The motherfucker was out cold, literally. His face was on the grass. It was at the park. I hit him three times in the forehead. And then I seen him like <laughs> three, about two, three weeks after. The motherfucker had a lump on his head, like a, like a tennis ball inside his head. Really? You mean like if somebody got right up in your face mm -hmm. and said that you were an ignorant, no talent, white trash, fortune squandering, vanilla ice wannabe loser? You'd be okay with that? Yeah. Um, seriously now. Seriously, for the record, exactly how much do you suck? Okay, I'm the best fighter in the world. I'm the champion. Oh, that's nice. Would it be accurate to say that you're the biggest douchebag ever? Um, yeah. Well, I guess that sounds pretty reasonable. Yeah, I got all my enemies. Well, sounds like you've got a bright future ahead of you. I wouldn't give up entirely on show business, though. I mean, you could always have a future in, I don't know, gay porn. But he's, he's really an amateur, I mean. Oh, would you look at that? It appears your 15 minutes are up. I'm afraid we'll have to say goodbye now. But thank you so much for taking the time to be with us here on Al TV. Now remember when you had your first heart attack, heart attack. Right there laughing when I heard the news, heard the news. I just wish the cardiac would have murdered you, murdered you. Haters win all day, son, you lose.